I'm gonna show you how to replace the battery in this remote control here. It's a cold alarm. It's a CAT X4. And the battery that this take is a 2016, 2016. It takes two of them. Basically what that is, is 20 uh, millimeters in diameter and it's 1.6 millimeters thick. But the cool thing about this, if you don't have a 2016 battery, you can use um, a 2032, which most of my remote controls use a 2032. So let's go ahead and replace this. Here go how you replace it. What you wanna do, just take a screwdriver or something and uh, put it in this little slot right here. And you twist it. You've probably heard it pop. And inside here, you'll have two batteries. You just click them out. And if you look at them, it's a 2016. So it got two of these, these batteries, 2016. So if you don't have any 2016s, just put you some 2032s. Uh, it's the same thing as 20 uh, millimeters in diameter and it's 3.2 millimeters thick. So 1.6 plus 1.6 is 3.2. So let's give it a try. So right here, I have the 2032, it's a three volts. So if you put the two of the 2016s, only thing it's doing is doubling up the voltage. Uh, it'll be six volts instead of three volts. And the difference is it probably can be used for a longer range out. And this works fine. So let's go ahead and put this in. And this says the positive, I'm gonna read this. It says the plus side is down. So this is the plus side. You turn it around, put it in. You probably hear it click. That's it. It clicks in place. Let's go and pop this together. And let's go test it on the truck. So I'm here at my Toyota Tundra. And like I said, right now I got a 2032. I got one 2032 in there. And I, instead of two 20. 16s. So let's check it. Unlock. Works great. Let's do the auto start. Push it twice. Oh, it worked. Oh. So to stop it, just push this and hold it. So I'm gonna go from a little further distance. So I'm in my neighbor's yard now in the distance. Let me hit the lock. It works, I'm gonna do the auto start. cool all works this video helps subscribe to my channel thank you